Hello beautiful Scorpio, welcome into my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your spiritual growth reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Scorpio. We're going to take a look at your personal development, your spirituality, your journey, healing, any guidance that you need to hear at this time. And then I do a separate video focused on your romantic love life and your soul-to-soul -soul connections. Um, for So this is general, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, for you, I had a little bit of, of trouble tapping into your energy because I feel like you have a wall up. I feel like you are in this place of, I don't know, it doesn't feel like you are confused. It feels like you're putting up a barrier because I feel like you want to be left alone. I feel like you want to be, um, I feel like you, you want to be left alone because you feel alone, because you feel frustrated. You feel like, am I the only one that feels like this? Why am I the only one that feels like this? I don't know if you are frustrated because the situation is making you feel frustrated, whether this is with, um, within your own self, within your own journey, maybe your gifts, maybe your, because I feel like you have this understanding, this deeper understanding of emotions, not only of yourself, but of others. And not only that, but I feel like your gifts are definitely expanding where you're feeling the emotions of energy. Okay, the emotions of Mother Earth, the emotions of the cosmos, it's like everything has an emotion and you're understanding that and you're like, you're getting overwhelmed with it because it's like all kind of like gravitating towards you and it's, it's I don't know, for some reason it's overwhelming, it's frustrating, it feels lonely, it's like, am I the only one like this? For others of you, you're taking on a lot of other people's emotions, whether they're displacing it on you. So I feel like you're putting up these boundaries, okay, to, to say like, no more, no more. Stop displacing your emotions on me, okay? It's honestly what I'm feeling. So <laughs> let's see what's going on with you guys. We've been channeling for a while that you guys are royalty, right? Some of you could have a royal bloodline. Um, and this energy is flowing into, I feel like this energy has been flowing into all of the readings. It, the more that you guys understand your purpose, the more that you guys understand, you know, why you're here, what you have contracted into in this lifetime, things of that nature. And I feel like even like when I think of royalty and like kings and queens, it feels it's a, it's a lonely position. It's a lonely place. Okay. So let's see what's going on. This is the enchanted. Oh, they said no. Okay, can we just go with the flow? <laughs> is there something else? Uh, all right then. So well then. Okay, let's just go to the animal spirit. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys are the physicists, you guys are the transmitters, you move energy from one state to another, and you are up-leveling your gifts, and it's becoming really overwhelming, and, um, you're frustrated, you're frustrated, and I feel like you want to be left alone, so let's see what's going on, um, I just feel like you have this deeper understanding that a lot of people don't have and it's of emotions it's what makes us human and it's like you have a deeper understanding of that nature of existence that a lot of people don't have okay and um i don't know it's just becoming frustrating for you But this is what you have like contracted into in this lifetime. So it's like you have this awareness that, yes, I know that these are my gifts, but it's like, just allow me to be frustrated, right? It's like, just allow me to feel overwhelmed, to le like leave me alone for a little bit. It's kind of what I'm getting for you. And you know what? That's okay. I get it. I get it. I do. Um, mm hmm you have your spirit has a plan koala spirit yeah with vulture spirit nothing is wasted oh, 
spirit has a plan for you like i said you guys are royalty a lot of you yes you're coming to your understanding of your purpose absolutely but it's like there's something that you don't see yet that spirit has a plan for you so maybe this is part of like why you're so frustrated is kind of questioning where where am i going with this what do i do with this energy what do i do with all these feelings what do i do with all these emotions spirit has a plan okay trust spirit has a plan for you this is number 35 which is also number eight and here you have vultures vulture spirit excuse me which is 63 which is number nine so you do have here eight nine you are definitely progressing okay you are evolving they keep saying saying it to me you're understanding you're understanding the nature of existence and that's vulture spirit the vulture spirit is absolutely beautiful the vulture spirit is the one animal that gets misrepresented this is not a bad omen this is about purification nothing is wasted remember what i said you guys are the transmuters you shift and you alchemize energy from one state to another whether you are aware that you do it or not you have you know um you're okay so you're going through a purification process yes but you're also understanding that energy does not die nothing is wasted it doesn't die it goes and it becomes transformed and transmuted into another energy oh, i was gonna say something and completely forgot completely forgot what i was gonna say they're channeling so much to me Whew. it'll come back to me it's meant to um yeah this is the good to row. whoa this is the good to row. sorry these cards are way too big for for me but okay let's try this again i wish that they made this in a smaller size i don't know if they have bothering me now nothing is wasted even here you see this vulture is wearing a crown I'm telling you you guys are royalty yep the Sun number 19 which is a 10 so you have 8 9 10 you guys are progressing forward you guys are absolutely progressing forward if you are questioning if you are on the right path a hundred percent you are you're on the right path and if you have just recently come across you know my video randomly or you know this video specifically questioning that okay this is your confirmation Or if you just felt guided to, this is the message that I need to hear. Eight, nine, ten. You could be seeing sequential numbers. Okay. People are going to be noticing you and I feel like you don't like that. I feel like you guys absolutely despise being in the public or I feel like even when someone like looks at you it's like what are you looking at okay and I'm getting that feeling because this sun see how this person is looking in that direction like that like looking away while all these sunflowers are looking towards the sun but you're looking away you're very shy you're very shy this is what i'm saying when i tried to get into your energy i felt like you had a barrier 
it's like don't look at me right now I don't want to be looked at I don't want to be read I don't want to be just don't it's like you just want to be left alone to understand what this means this is big for some of you for some of you the way that your purpose and again everyone's purpose is going to be different and most importantly spirit has a plan for every single one of you no one's purpose is less than or greater than the other every purpose is equal for some of you this is like most likely for someone or a group a small group of you this is fame okay for others of you this is a lot of people within your community friends family that are just drawn to your energy it's like they can't help but come to you for aid for assistance for healing for guidance okay you have probably been through this energy already or you have always been the one where a lot of people have come to you and you're just like you're literally at a point where you're like stop stop coming to me i need to figure this out i'm i'm frustrated i'm annoyed am i the only one what's going on that's what i'm getting here for you so let's see what's going on let's get your cards out okay beautiful beautiful scorpio you have here the three of earth For Scorpio, please, Spirit. You have here the tower, number 16, right underneath the sun. Surprise and shock. Shocking events. Surprise. I feel like you're going to be in a very uh, auspicious scenario. Excuse me, it's going to happen out of the blue. <laughs> Oh my god excuse me i'm like losing my voice my heart just elevated too i have my heart monitor yep just went up <laughs> it's just like you're going to be shocked where you will be. Okay, let's get more. Sorry. Nine of fire. Oh my god. Look at look at the color palette. Look at the color palette. It's the same. We're going to talk about it. That is beautiful. Just wonderful color imagery thank you spirit for that beautiful confirmation they make me read things in rows lately so that's how we're gonna read the energy three more cards please spirit ace of earth oh my god yeah something is coming to you unexpected and it's coming from spirit this is spirit because this is spirit conspiracy. This is spirit conspiring. Spirit has a plan for you. Oh, look at the emperor. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. You have a royal bloodline. Look at the emperor in their castle. I'm like, I'm talking about your past life. For some of you were warriors. You were kings and queens okay for this group that i'm channeling that you your energy has been flowing in these readings and at the forefront your past life you were of a royal bloodline you were kings queens prince princesses anyway we're going to talk about the present moment. We're going to talk about this life. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make that connection. Last card. 
All right. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Okay, I was, um, here's the Wheel of Fortune, because they're telling me, take it, because there's 1010 here, right, with the Sun, 19, Wheel of Fortune, 1010, um, you have two Aces here, Ace of Earth, Ace of Fire, you have a Page, you have a lot of new beginnings here, Eight of Cups, let me tell you, you are, you are, like here on the wheel your mood i feel like you are here right now and then you're kind of going to be shifting and now you're going to be up here on the wheel where really auspicious events moments in your life are going to start unfolding this is luck this is divine timing this is destiny you're going to be at the top of the wheel okay and at the top of the wheel this is like at the top of your uh it's like the you're reaching a peak okay you're at the top of the wheel um that's where you are in this particular cycle okay you're here right now you're going to be moving up okay and that's when you're going to be experiencing and just having full trust that there is something for you spirit has a plan this is going to be divine timing This is going to be divine timing. This is going to be really auspicious, synchronistic. Some of you could literally have prophesized it or seen it for yourself. Okay, this person with the three of pentacles is doing this in the far distance. So some of you could have seen this before. Some of you may already know what this is. Okay. It's going to be something where your gift, you're going to be able to use your gift for the greater good. You're going to be able to put yourself um, forward, okay? You're going to be, you're aligned to your truth. You're going to be presented with opportunities, maybe even travel. But you're going to be do, doing something with your purpose. Okay, this is like what you have worked up for. This is what this journey has led you up to. Okay. Ace of Earth, it's tangible. It's in your reality. You're going to see it. Your reality is changing and I feel like you you understand. This is, this is also spirit. Three of Pentacles, working with the divine, working with spirit right this is this this row spirit has this plan for you that you see or maybe you're like what is that i feel something okay so you just need to trust this energy is coming in for you this ace of earth a tangible offer this could be a move for some of you a career change this career change is going to be in alignment to your purpose, alignment to what you're meant to do that you have contracted in in this lifetime. So that's why I'm saying for a lot of you, you might remember what you contracted into with spirit in this lifetime to do. Okay? You're absolutely going to be in the forefront of things. Okay, this is like you your time to shine. It's your time to step forward. It's your time to to emerge. To stand in your throne, so to speak. To know your worth. To know your power. This is success. The sun, the sun is also a yes. I don't know if you someone just asked a question, but the sun is yes. Yes. Now, with, I want to talk about all this together, the transformation, 
Number 13, this is death, Scorpio, energy, death and rebirth. What did I say earlier? You guys are the physicists. You guys are the alchemists. You know how to move energy from one state to another. You guys can shift energy in a room. Let me tell you something about angels and, and spirit of the most high vibration. If you are feeling sad or if you are feeling, you know, really melancholy and you ask spirit to assist you or to speak with you or through you or you know when spirit has entered a room or entered, so to speak, because they're interdimensional beings, but you know when spirit is around you, when the energy of the space that you are in gets up leveled. It changes from one state to another. That's what I'm talking about. For some of you, you have the ability where you walk in a room and you change the atmospheric uh, flow. You change it. It's like, you know, you know, maybe it's a little bit aggressive or um, there's maybe like so many people in there. A lot of people are feeling anxious and then all of a sudden like you enter the room and the energy of people are like, you know, they're flowing. They're a lot more calm, that sort of that sort of thing that's something that you guys can do okay that's the kind of like transmutation i'm talking about so for some of you it's like you know how to do that without even you it's like in your subconscious mind that it's not really in your awareness that you are doing that but it's something that you do really well okay nonetheless this is also a purification process right we talked about the vulture spirit and look at this beautiful, these colors. Look, it's just, it's just, this is just like so beautiful to me. Uh, you're purific. You're being purified. What does that mean? You're being cleansed. A lot of things are being removed. Eight of Cups right here. I'll hold it up in just a little bit. But look, it's just so beautiful, this energy. I mean, I could bask in this. You're literally transforming yourself. You've been on this path. You've been on this journey with the Nine of Wands. This is this Nine of Wands energy that I was talking about. Because the Nine of Wands in the traditional Tarot is someone that's been like wounded, right? The wounded warrior right there's that word again warrior it's like you know that you've been wounded you know that you feel things more than other people you're secluding yourself right now and there's like nine wands behind the person in the traditional tarot and they're holding one wand up against themselves because they're weary that's the kind of energy that i felt it's like be cautious when you approach me but this is the energy that I'm feeling about you that you you want to be left alone. That's this nine of fire energy. You're alone. But you're not alone because spirit is here with you. It's like you're guiding yourself through these changes. You're guiding yourself through these transformations. You're literally being ready to emerge. Okay, I feel like you are going to break out of this lantern. It's like you're no longer holding yourself back. You're no longer going to feel shy. You're definitely going to be in the forefront. And I think, again, with this shy energy that I was feeling earlier, it's like, that's what's so uncomfortable to you. This is going to be outside of your comfort zone, but this is what you are emerging to. This is what you have contracted into to do on your journey, on your path. And honestly, like, I don't know what this offer is. I don't know what this career change is. I don't know what this surprise, what this auspicious event is. I don't know what, it's just like your life is not going to be the same because now you're going to be doing things that are in alignment to your purpose. It's something that you've never done before in this lifetime. So it's going to be different for all of you because everyone's purpose is different. Some of you might be a radio host. You're going to be a radio host. You're going to start a podcast. 
some of you are going to start a YouTube channel, some of you are going to be traveling, some of you are going to be doing TED Talks, some of you are going to be famous for writing a book, some of you are, um, you, like, lyrically, you are gifted, you are musicians. You're going to be, like, spitting rhymes or, like, bars, and, like, people are going to understand and listen and get hyped and, like, really, like, flow with you and understand you. Like, your spirit is just really going to soar. People are going to feel you. You're going to change a lot of people's lives. I'm going to get so emotional because it's like, it's like everything that you know that you need to be doing. It's just like getting out of that five of pentacles energy of scarcity of like, I, it's like, I'm not worthy for this or I don't want this or I feel um, maybe I'm not up for the task. You are. Those are just, you know, the stories that we tell ourselves, right? But here with the Eight of Cups, see again. Remember with the Three of Earth, like someone is kind of like doing like this, right? They're looking out into the distance. You know that some, you know intuitively, you feel this emotion like overwhelming you. Again, it's like this overwhelming sensation of, like everyone just leave me alone because you know that there's something there's a big shift here happening for you it's like i can't deal with any bother and anybody's emotions or bs or what have you like stop coming to me right now i need to focus on what i need to do something is coming for me something is changing and look at you you emerge you emerge look at this beautiful human being but this human being is also a mermaid. I'm not saying that you guys are going to be growing tails. I'm just saying and this is very symbolic of the gifts and the magic that you possess within yourself. You're going to be harnessing it and integrating it with yourself on earth. Okay, you're going to feel brand new. You're going to feel absolutely like yourself. It's like freedom. I'm no longer encased. Freedom. I can show my magic. Freedom. And me. I'm doing what I know best. You're doing what you know best. Spirit has a plan for you. And this is the reading that I have for you. I love you guys so much. You guys are royalty. I vibe with you. I love you guys. This is amazing. Um, enjoy it. Take the time that you need. Okay? <laughs> I felt that barrier. Continue to put up that barrier. Whatever it is that you need at this time. Okay? Do what you need to do for you because this is really big stuff. I love you guys. Until next time. Oh, I'm going to do your romantic love life reading now. Bye.